It has been said about people that when people know better, they do better. And that sounds really, really profound. But over the years of my life, I wonder, is it true? Because everything that sounds good isn't always true. When people know better, they do better. I can't even say that's always true in my own life. Because there's a difference between knowing better and doing better. I know I don't have no business with dessert. I said I was going to watch my carbs. I know I should get up every morning early and exercise about 5.30 and jog about three miles. I know better. I know what to eat and what not to eat. I know what is healthy, what is not healthy. I have been informed. I have been educated. I know not to eat those oxtail. I know. Uh oh, y'all not gonna talk to me this morning. I, I, I know I don't need those barbecue ribs and the french fries. The waitress even asks you, do you want salad? And I, sometimes I just say, no. I know not to let them bring bread to the table because I know if it gets to the table, it's gonna, you know, especially if it's hot and it's warm and they've got good butter. I know not to even risk bringing it that close to me because I know I'm not strong enough to resist it. When people know better, they say they do better, but it is possible. I know how to do curls. I know how to bench press. I, I know how to do lat pull down. I know how to do it. I know the form. I know what I ought to be doing. I know I should stretch every morning. It is not the absence of knowledge that always deters the activity, but the gulf between what we know and what we do is often a wide gulf and we don't always reach across. While it is impossible to do better if you don't know better, it's impossible. You can't do better if you don't know better. Often we still know better than we do. The truth of the matter is doing better isn't always easy. Sometimes it's real tough. Doing better isn't always easy. Doing better as a husband or a wife isn't always easy. We know what we should be doing, but we don't always do it. Sometimes we don't do better until we get in trouble. Sometimes we don't do better until we're under threat. Sometimes we don't do better until we have competition. Oh, it's going to be quiet this morning, Jesus. Angels, y'all shout for me this morning because the people are going to be quiet. Doing better on the job. We know what to do. We used to do it when we first got the job and we didn't take it for granted. We knew not to take a two and a half hour lunch. We knew how to be in our place. We knew not to be on the phone and playing video games in our office. We knew better. Yeah. You should wear some strong shoes because I'm going to step on some toes today. But whether we know better and what we do is two different things altogether. Especially when you realize that the people we admire the most were people who put into action what they knew, who grew and changed and made corrections. They became our heroes because they had the courage to change course. All of the people that we highlight in our country and our history are people who had the courage to change course. Leaders like Abraham Lincoln had the courage to change course. It is not now, it's, we always honor people after they're dead. 
but in real time speed, our heroes were not popular because they went against the course and they swam upstream against the grain and they had to have courage to change the course. That's not easily done. Dr. King had to have courage to change the court. Nelson Mandela went to jail to change the court. You can get in trouble to change the course. Corrections can often have severe consequences. Corrections can often have severe consequences. Getting it right can have severe consequences. Because see, you, you, you make a decision at one stage in your life and then later you know better, but you're already in the situation. I never will forget, I was teaching a Bible class one time and I was doing Q&A right here at this church and a young man said something to me I will never forget. He said, I am the world's best at getting into situations and the world's worst at getting out. And I think the reason it becomes so difficult to get out is because sometimes it's become so complicated. It requires humility that some people lack the ability to quiet their ego enough to achieve the ability of change because sometimes you have to go against what you said at this stage to correct where you are at that stage and some until you become strong enough to admit yes i said it but i was wrong you can't bring about change and sometimes your ego will make you be loyal to a mistake i'm wondering if there's anybody in here who's ever been loyal to a mistake and you it was a mistake and you knew it was a mistake but you counted up the cost to fix it and you decided you would just take the easy way out and live with it our, our decisions you see to correct our mistakes can create disruption and not only disruption for us disruption for other people and when you look at what it's going to take to straighten it out sometimes you just don't do it and when you don't do it you become trapped in a nightmare of regret you'd be surprised how long you can live in the prison of your problems You'd be surprised how long you can live a life where you clap like you're free, you talk like you're free, you move like you're free, but you're really not free at all because you are trapped in a complicated situation. You can't get out and you can't get in. You're just stuck. And so you clap stuck and you sing stuck and you go to choir rehearsal stuck and you go to work stuck and you come home stuck and you go to church stuck. And yes, you get your dance in every now and then, but you go back to a situation that's stuck because dancing doesn't bring about change. I don't care how much you praise the Lord until you correct your past decisions, you are not going to get the breakthrough that you need. And still you, until you stop using shopping for therapy, you're never going to have the credit rating that you should have. No matter how much he's Jehovah Jireh, he can't be Jehovah Jireh to you because as fast as he pours it in, you leak it out. And God is too much of a businessman to keep investing in a bankrupt system. And you know what it takes to fix it, and you know the discipline that's required to get your life together, but it's not always true that people who know better do better. And not doing better simply leaves you stuck.